randomly, I saw this clip I wanted to talk about. This is regarding Yuri. This is courtesy of a no jumper subreddit. And the title is features, as you can see here, the title says as follows. Yuri refuses to shower, says it's too much and he's too tired. Hygiene isn't a priority. So let's play this video clip for you so you can see, you know, just the beautiful, the amazing, you know, um, catch that is fucking Yuri. Absolutely stupendous flipping video this is. Let's play this. In here. How about you go take a shower? I will not shower today. I don't want to. It's too much. I showered earlier before we left. Um. Larry dropped a bag of two dollars. Yuri, nice try. You haven't showered since Saturday afternoon and we all know it. You've been on stream for eight days, remember? You didn't shower yesterday. Please get your hygiene in order because people are starting to attack Riley for your lack of hygiene. I don't give a fuck. I'm not showering. T tonight, tonight, tonight. I just don't want to. I'm tired, bro. Now you're tired. Yeah, I'm exhausted. No, like not. I'm too tired to shower. I'm t like not tired enough to like take another shot, a shot and party. But, but for a shower, come on. That's just gonna bring that's like that's gonna bring the vibes down. Do we really want to kill the vibes over a stupid shower? Come on, think about it, guys. So imagine, imagine not showering while on vacation again. If you're not watching the video. This is Yuri talking into a camera while they're in a room somewhere. So I guess they're doing some sort of traveling around America. Maybe they're going back to where Riley's grew up or something. I don't know. But they're in a room somewhere, maybe an Airbnb, chilling, having a good time. And he's on camera with his girlfriend lying on a bed saying, basically, I'm not going to shower until tomorrow, which will probably make it, what, four days since the day of his recording. He hasn't showered. Can you imagine being away abroad, traveling, whatever you are? It doesn't even matter if it's in the same country, just traveling anywhere without sharing for four fucking days and this is why i say that i really understand what sharp meant about riley sharp said oh all these people online talk about how hot riley is right as like a kind of diss to yuri oh i can't believe you treat riley horrible because she's hot which is weird anyway right as if like riley only deserves respect because she's attractive looking right but then you also said something like which i kind of stuck to me it was like you have to also judge a girl like that who's willing to live who's willing to be with a guy as like gross as yuri right he's number one he's not even that good looking like you have to be probably quite good looking to get away with the whole not sharing thing or maybe just have a monster dick right have a monster fucking schlong or maybe just look incredible in the face like fucking fucking timothy chamelay incredible on the face right like a little twink angel thing but yuri isn't even that cute and i don't know about the schlong so he's just you know he has a girlfriend that's able to put up with this shit even though he's not that cute and he probably doesn't have that big of a dick anyway. But just in general, that aside, just in terms of your own hygiene, not wanting to shower for four days is absolutely insane. It beggars belief why you'd want to do that because forget, forget how your girlfriend would react. Because again, I think it's, he's probably lucky that he's met his like life partner or he's met his soulmate. I've already said it plenty of times. I don't think Yuri and Riley are ever going to break up. I think just sometimes in life you can get lucky and meet somebody who's the perfect match for you. But sometimes it could be for the best and for the worst. So you might meet the perfect match for you. That's also destructive as you are. And you both come together and you become the next fucking Bobby and Whitney without all the money, without all the fame and without all the fucking paparazzi. And then you both die in the middle of a tub somewhere, right? Or you can meet somebody who's kind of the polar opposite, but you both kind of work, work well with each other because you're so different but then you so similar in some ways with them two they're obviously very destructive and they kind of suit each other really well so it's not like Riley's gonna go anywhere so forget doing it for her why not just do it for you whenever I'm abroad or whenever I take a trip especially I don't even go that far I use the max fucking flights that I take are like six hours or something right but if I'm going to like Berlin or something for the weekend and I leave my house in the morning like sometimes imagine this I'll, I'll, I'll get the fucking horrible early flight to leave London to go to Berlin at like 6 a.m the flight lands in berlin at like nine or something right and at that 6 a.m before i've left the house most likely i've showered because usually i can't sleep before a flight anyway i'm super like nervous and shit about missing my flight and look forget my passport and all that nonsense so most of the time i've showered at night before i go to bed or i've showered in the morning before i've left 
get on the plane, I, I arrive at my destination. And as soon as I land, as soon as I arrive at the Airbnb or the hotel, the first thing I want to do is jump in the shower. That's the first thing I do, especially when I get to Airbnb, where's the house? Do you know what I mean? The first thing I want to do is fucking shower. Even though I've already had a shower, like what? By that time, like eight hours before, prior. Still that kind of smut, that kind of like, you know, the smut, the dust, just the fucking airport, you know, stink, being in a fucking plane with randoms for that many hours, all the stuff you touch. I just want to, you know, you just want to feel fresh again, kind of get yourself, you know, um, acclimated with the fucking, vet, with the location that you're at and kind of go from there. So the fact that Yuri doesn't want to do it is odd because for me, I find showers or washing myself or having some level of like hygiene quite refreshing. It actually kind of gives me another bit of a pep. It kind of gives me a little bit of a bounce. It kind of allows me to kind of, okay, cool. This is a next part of my day like hey you shower before bed cool now it's bedtime you shower in the morning okay cool it triggers i don't know showering after work or showering flipping showering after a workout showering before you go to work do you know what I mean it's kind of like a psych signifier of like you starting your day and kind of getting things going it's like having the first coffee in the morning type of thing so the fact that he doesn't shower and the fact that in this screenshot or when i've paused it right now he's scratching his head most likely because he hasn't you know if he doesn't shower he definitely doesn't shampoo his hair he definitely doesn't wash his hair in any kind of way it's kind of gross it really fucking is so as much as people like to talk about riley being hot which is subjective it's hard to really rate a girl like that when she's with a guy like this do you know what i mean it's hard to take someone like that seriously. You can't, you, you almost lose points because you're dating such a disgusting dude. It should be like that really and truly. You don't gain points by dating somebody that doesn't ref refuses to fucking wash under their armpits or behind their knees. It's absolutely incredible. Honestly, absolutely disgusting. So yeah, um, Yuri and Riley, um, like I said before, in plenty of times on this stream, um, our flock, also on this stream or on this fucking podcast are absolutely made for each other. And I don't see them ever breaking up anytime soon. I think people who hope that because he treats her like shit are wishing on a prayer. Um, if he was gonna, she was gonna break up with him because of how he, you know, bullies her and gaslights her and just a general dickhead. She would have left ages ago. The fact that she's still there means she's there for the long haul and she ain't going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. She ain't going anywhere.